this is my pickled uh, kohlrabi, carrot, and um, cucumber. So here's a cucumber, which I've cut up into juliennes, which is um, like a um, sophisticated French word for cutting into mesh stick like uh, strips. And this is the kohlrabi, also cut into juliennes, the white stuff. And carrots. Carrots I've cut two ways. I've uh, peeled with a potato peeler, shaved with a potato, potato peeler, as well as cut into juliennes. And I've been pickling them in both, um, in, in quite a number of uh, sour things. I've got lime juice, lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, a dash of balsamic vinegar. Uh, the whole reason I did that was so that I don't have a taste of one particular type of acidity, but generally um, make it kind of taste neutral. And uh, uh, just a few sprinkles of salt, just to get the juices out of these vegetables. Okay, they're nice and crunchy. I had a bowl earlier. I, I can really attest to the crunchiness and the, the sweetness. Uh, some people put a little bit of sugar, but because I'm on a low sugar diet, I didn't. Um, I'm not supposed to use salt, but I just put a little bit just to get the juices uh, coming out. So you can see here, there are lots of juice that have actually uh, come out. Uh, well, there's also the, the vinegar and the lime juice and the lemon juice in there. Um, so. This will keep for a few days in the fridge and whenever, you know, like I had it with the chapati and the uh, uh, chana masala earlier. So the, the, what do you call it, the acidity and the crunchiness uh, is a nice counterpoint to uh, the bean, uh, what do you call it, chana masala. Chana masala is basically, or traditionally, um, chickpea curry chickpea but um, as I mentioned in my earlier video on making baked beans I had put uh, mochi beans white beans as well as chickpeas in, in that bean dish um, to make my baked beans and that after it had dried out after a few days it became chana masala